Welcome back to Trans Guy Reacts. My name is Nick. I make videos about women's college basketball and uh, professional basketball. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the game, the early game for um, the WNBA Saturday, May 25th. There are like five or six games today. It's kind of ridiculous. I think there's five. And um, a lot of them are during the same time. So it's going to be really challenging for me to do all those. But I thought I'd just do the first one separately because um, I... This, so it was such a big time difference. It starts at 11, It started at like 11 a.m., and then uh, the next game is until 6. <laughs> and then I think there's two at 7, and then like one at 8, something like that. It's a lot, a lot today. Um, first of all, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. I don't have my comment sections on because it's mostly a bunch of uh, trolls, mostly men who are trolls who have no life, so I don't have time for that. Um, but yeah, if you rock with me, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna do this really quick breakdown. Oh, my window's open, and I live in Mexico, so it's probably kind of loud. I forgot to close the window. Oh well. Uh, this is gonna be kind of quick and dirty. Usually my breakdowns are a lot longer, but um, I came into this game against the New York Liberty and the Minnesota Lynx kind of late because actually today is um, it's Pride here and where I'm at in Mexico, and so I wanted to go to the Pride Parade, and uh, so I ended up missing. The Pride Parade started at like um, ten. 10.30, because it was started at 10, but it was 10.30, because CP time. Uh, but yeah, and I was vi busy with that, so I got back to my apartment here, and it was the it was almost the end of, of the third quarter, so I missed quite a bit of the game. Um, but I was happy to see that it was on CBS. Love to see it on reg uh, WNBA games on regular TV. Um, they were at Target Arena, because it was Link's home court, uh, and it looked pretty full. It wasn't a sellout. I mean, it's a Saturday morning. It's not a sellout, but it was a really good turnout. I would say probably like 75% full. Um, uh, when I came in, it was tied, uh, and the Lynx had gone on an 8-0 run with one, within one minute. And I was like, oh, Lynx are going to win this game. This is very – the Lynx had more energy. You could see that the New York Liberty were having some issues with turnovers, and uh, they just didn't seem like they had the heart in the game. Um, from the box board – box score score um not spore score uh the lynx punched a liberty in the face in that first quarter um in the second quarter um liberty kind of came back a little bit uh, but then in the third quarter the lynx uh won that quarter so i was like mm, it's not in liberty's favor uh the start of the fourth quarter it was 58 to 66 links up um in the first uh john Quo jones in the fourth quarter gets her fourth foul uh because of a collision it was more of a collision. It was kind of a no call. It shouldn't have been called, I don't think, but whatever. Uh, the refs are really inconsistent. Um, the Liberty definitely struggled to score in the fourth quarter. They didn't score, actually, I think, until the six minutes in. Um, uh, then they did a review on John Quell Jones for a flagrant foul, which looked like a clean block. Uh, but when you, when you saw the replay, her literally her inner arm, her bicep, hit um, the person's head. And they were reviewing that for a flagrant, and it wasn't. And they confirmed it, it was just a common foul. Uh, but Lynx was dominating that game, dominating the fourth. Um, it ended up ending 67-84. Uh, to 84. Lynx beat they ass. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty bad uh, in that fourth quarter. Um, the breakdown of the box score was Brianna Stewart had 20 points and 11 rebounds. She had a double-double. Uh, Sabrina Ignacio had 13 points. Courtney Vandersloot had 12 points. And Lenny Feibich had 11 points. She's from Germany. Um, and then for the Lynx, Bridget Carlton had 14 points. Nafisa Collier had 15 points and 12 rebounds for a double-double. Uh, Alana Smith had 14 points. And uh, just to note, Diamond Miller was not in the game. She is out indefinitely because she had a knee injury from a previous game. Uh, and that's unfortunate for them because Diamond Miller is actually a very important player um, in their team. So that, that makes things different. Uh, but, yeah, they uh, Liberty just didn't play well. They didn't play well in their last game either. Uh, so against the uh, Chicago Sky, and that was on home court. Uh, I think that was Chicago Sky's second win of the season. So, yeah, this is their second straight loss for the Liberty. Lynx are doing fan fine in, in comparison. Um, but it's hard. This is a really hard season because there's 40 games, and all and to make room for the games, there's, like, um, the Olympic break in the middle of the season, and so they are playing these teams – like back to back some games are the next like you only get one day break and some some of the games are like the next day uh so no break whatsoever it's a it's a grind i i see a lot of people getting injured which is kind of a story every year a lot of players get injured because i just feel like they're being overplayed 
Uh, just not getting adequate uh, breaks and rest, but they do have the charter flights now, so that's um, an advantage for them to at least get better rest um, in between games. But, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Liberty did not do well today. They, they definitely struggled. Uh, but, yeah, that's the uh, – the T for this game. I'm gonna try to do one more uh, video for uh, the four other games today. I won't be able to watch all the games. It's just not possible. So I'll try my best to do a recap of it. I think I might have to do something different in terms of these recaps because I like doing them, but they're very time consuming even though I'm not even editing these videos. It's just like a one shot. But watching the games completely is kind of tiresome. Um, I'm wondering if I should do something else in terms of uh, 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 of a recap maybe I should do reaction videos to the games because they do post the games like a uh, couple hours later on the next day um, on the league app and it's like a replay it's like the highlights basically of the game and I'm like maybe I should do that instead um, I don't know this channel is just for fun I just really enjoy women's basketball I'm um, 20 year fan you know a 20 plus year fan uh, I've been watching this game since I was a teenager and um, I just really love talking about it you know I'm not making any money from this this channel is not like growing exponentially um, I just really enjoy sharing my love for basketball so um, yeah I'm not I'm not sure I don't allow comments so I'm not gonna be able to know what you guys think or what you want um, I do appreciate the um, the dozens of people who uh, watch this uh, consistently um, I appreciate y'all being here but yeah just not sure what the content is gonna look like going forward um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about it a little bit. But otherwise, I'm having a great time. I really love doing this, and uh, I appreciate the people who are here who are supporting me and um, with open arms and love. Uh, I don't under If you're not one of those people, I don't really know why you're watching my videos. But, I mean, thanks for the view. <laughs> thanks for the engagement. Uh, anywho, uh, thanks uh, for watching this, and I'll see you all later today.